Hello and welcome to RoboBoat 2011. I'm Zoz Brooks and I dig robots. I travel all over the world building robots and teaching robotics. And my favorite kind of robots is autonomous robots. These are robots that can make their own decisions without a human having to tell them what to do every step of the way. We got 15 teams in the competition this year, including international teams from as far away as Taiwan and Indonesia. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Felix Peugeot, the technical director of this year's RoboBoat competition. So uh, tell us a little bit about the course, Felix. Just before going into the water, the boats are actually being weighed. They've been trying to go with smaller vehicles, lighter material, which is always a good thing. The first thing we do when we put the vehicle in the water is we actually hook a digital scale to the vehicle. And with that, they're going to try to go at maximum thrust and generate as many pounds of thrust as they can. The course was especially challenging this year, particularly because there were two parallel courses, so robots could get confused by the channel markers of the other course. After navigating the channel and avoiding obstacle buoys along the way, boats were confronted with four tasks based on the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. These involved retrieving an object from land, identifying a heated target, putting out a simulated fire with a water cannon, and venturing under a waterfall to push a shutoff button. That's a big set of demands from one robotic boat. What do you think about the course this year? People are saying it's a pretty challenging course. Yes, uh, I agree with them. Yeah, in terms of the struggles that we're going through in getting ready for the course, definitely is tough, but um, I guess it's better than being too easy. We're trying to move the bar to keep the students challenged. We don't want them to, to achieve everything and get bored with it. So we keep mixing it up from year to year. And this just happens to be one year where the teams that have done historically well are challenged with some of the basic things that they've uh, perfected in the past. And it is just a great real world lesson that the things that you expect to go right don't always go right. RoboBoat is a student competition. But don't let that fool you into thinking things are simple. These teams build their own hardware and software from scratch to make robotic boats that can autonomously make their way through a grueling course that would challenge the professionals. I think things like this, you know, you learn more than you ever do in the classroom. Uh, you are put outside of your comfort zone, so uh, yeah, definitely, definitely learn a lot and uh, a lot of exposure to uh, everybody else that's doing similar stuff to you. You know, it's even a big jump for the college students to take the controlled environment of the classroom and their multiple choice test to this infinitely multiple choice test and this uncontrolled environment. RoboBoat is sponsored by AUVSI Foundation and the Office of Naval Research. Well, the AUVSI Foundation is a nonprofit organization that exists to get kids interested in robotic activities and STEM-related uh, interests. So STEM is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And really what we want to do is get the students just exposed to the idea of autonomy and more interested in science. And what better way to do it than these hands-on projects? Teams are required to make a full professional presentation to expert judges. This is called static judging. Teams will earn points for the quality of their PowerPoint presentation, written paper, show and tell of the robot itself, and their team uniforms. What they walk away from here makes them infinitely qualified to take on a lot of those opening roles in companies and organizations, government laboratories and research departments that are doing robotic activities. There's a lot of people here from, uh, ONR is a big one, but I know uh, last year I know Northrop Grumman was here and there's a lot of uh, contractors and government agencies that are out here and I've, I've talked to a lot of them today and, uh, and they're trying to look for talent right now and so if, uh, if you join the competition like this, you can really get a lot of exposure. And so I think it, it can be very helpful in, uh, in landing a job. We all bring business cards, and I've had several um, last year, some that send me their resumes and say, hey, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to uh, graduate, or I want to go into graduate school, and where do you think I should go, or what do you think about this graduate program? Uh, we've had folks down here from different companies talking to the students, looking at resumes, and saying, hey, give me your business card, and I'll call you back in a week or two. And so it's, it's a great way to connect schools, connect industry with schools, and connect students with, with a potential employment. If you don't compete, if you don't participate in these, you're missing the best opportunity to recruit students, you're missing the best opportunity to train really quality engineers. If I were in industry, this is where I'd be coming looking for students in these areas. We hope that ONR will get a future workforce. We'll get people who understand all of the challenges of autonomy, understand why this is so hard, and they'll be the next innovators in the future. What we hope the students will get out of it is they'll go back to school and be better students. They'll have a multiplier effect. They'll infect other people in their classrooms, and they'll come back fully energized next year with an even bigger team. That wraps up RoboBoat 2011. A tough course tackled with hardcore engineering skills, sleepless nights, and great team spirit. Well done to all the teams. Thanks again to AUVSI Foundation and ONR. I'm Zoz Brooks. See you next year. Go, 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 go.